Sean, I'm Lana Zak. Thanks so much for joining us. President Biden is urging Democrats in Congress to pass his ambitious infrastructure and social spending packages, but his party is still split on the issues. The president said in a speech to the Democratic National Committee Saturday his proposals would be historic investments in infrastructure and the American people. The address came on the heels of a disappointing September jobs report. And the president also said his plans would spur economic growth by creating millions of jobs. But so far, infighting between other Democrats has stalled the bills. CBS's Skylar Henry reports from the White House. President Biden has a warning for his fellow Democrats. Stick together or prepare to say goodbye to their House and Senate majorities. Here's the deal. We want 2020 as a unified party. And we're looking to 2022 as we do that. We need to stay unified. That warning comes as the president's domestic agenda appears stalled in Congress. Progressive and centrist Democrats remain locked in disagreement over the size of a three and a half trillion dollar social spending bill. I don't believe that we should turn our society into an entitlement society. I am not exactly sure what he means by that. Is protecting working families and cutting childhood poverty and Entitlement. The GOP, meanwhile, has been anything but divided in their opposition to the White House's proposals. On Thursday, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell diffused the crisis by agreeing to temporarily lift the nation's debt ceiling. We've been down this path before when you did not have divided government and the party and the majority got the job done. Senator Mitch McConnell says he won't raise it again, even if that could result in a government default. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. President Biden addressed members of his party at the Democratic National Committee's fall meeting Saturday. In remarks during the virtual meeting, the president called for unity as the party looks ahead to next year's elections. You know, my message is simple. We need to stay together. 